Cisco community, hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to configure basic connectivity to your Nexus 5000. There are two methods. First, we'll describe here the best method, preferred method, which is with a management zero interface. And later on, we'll describe how to use an SVI. Let's get started. Let's look at the interface management zero. And here we can see that the interface is up. So let's go ahead and give it an IP address to it. Now we need to provide a default gateway. So we'll go in VRF context management and we'll provide a default route to our gateway. Which is this one here. Now we should be able to do a ping test. And when we ping over our management interface, we need to specify the VRF at the end. So here we'll do over VRF management. So the first time that we ARPed, and then we, we can see that we are now successful in pinging. So we've established basic connectivity. If later on you'd like to connect over Telnet, don't forget to use feature Telnet. And now let's look at our management zero configuration. And here let's try to do a ping test. For success. And let's now confirm that Telnet works as well. And we're able to get in. Now let's do the second method to configure our default gateway using an SVI. First, let's remove the IP address for management zero. And let's remove the default route from our VRF context management. Now, let's go ahead and enable feature interface VLAN. Let's create a VLAN. Let's, for example, take 1999. Let's again give it its IP address. Don't forget to unshut this interface. Next, create the VLAN, the VLAN database. And finally, let's go to VRF context default and provide a default route to the gateway. And this concludes the second possibility for the configuration of basic connectivity.